Another day of political limbo for Malaysia. The king thrust into the middle of the country's post-election crisis as he moves to confer with other state rulers in a make-or-break attempt to ease the deadlock and get closer to a new government. For more, Tunku Moha Mokta joins us live now from Kuala Lumpur. He's an assistant professor at the International Islamic University, Malaysia. Dr. Moha, good evening and thank you for joining us. Uh, Sultan Abdullah, he wants a unity government, but he hasn't managed to do that so far. Unity is going to need compromise and key leaders don't seem to want it. Now, Muhyiddin Yassin, he's rejected the king's call, but what levers does the Sultan have to pull to actually convince coalitions one way or the other? Yes, uh, this is uh, unprecedented. The first time that uh, this happened uh, in Malaysian uh, electoral history. So uh, in this situation where no one coalition had gotten the uh, simple majority, um, so among the coalitions, they are trying to uh, get enough numbers okay, for them to form the uh, government, but so far uh, they have not uh, been successful. And uh, this is where uh, the role of the king uh, becomes central. Under uh, the Malaysian constitution, um, the king, uh, the young Deputan Agong, is uh, entrusted to uh, appoint someone who in his um, uh, confidence uh, or in his uh, thinking has the confidence of the majority of the um, of the members of parliament. So far, uh, this has uh, he hasn't um, gotten the um, the majority from any of the two uh, coalitions, two uh, major coalitions, Pakatan Arab and also uh, Dr. Moha. Dr. Dr. Moha. They don't mm -hmm. seem to want to work with the king. That's the impression that we get. Uh, so much so that the king has had to call a council of rulers uh, to try to break this impasse to form a federal government. How usual or not is it for the king to have to consult with the fellow sultans of Malaysian states to make such a decision in what is, of course, a democratic country? It is unusual, of course, because um, he... Um, needs to uh, get the views okay, from the other uh, Malay rulers. No one seemed to be willing to form a unity government at the moment. And uh, it seems that for both uh, Pakatan Harapan and Perikata National, they need uh, the, um, the, the uh, cooperation from uh, Barisan National, which they haven't gotten uh, until now. So. Um, this is going to be um, a test case and uh, the nation is waiting uh, what the conference of rulers would uh, view uh, in, in this kind of situation who should be uh, appointed as the Prime Minister. Meantime, Dr. Moha, there is this mystery over the support that Mohidin Yassin claims to have had, the 115 MPs uh, who he said uh, backed his uh, Perikata Nacional forming the coalition. It, all of that was dismissed by the king, though. Uh, and Mohidin Yassin said he was confused by it, or he inferred at least that he was confused by it. Uh, Sultan Abdullah, he, he called for a government that, that is inclusive of race, religion, of region as well. What can we read, if anything, into the king's dismissal of Muhyiddin Yassin's 115 declarations of support? What might the sticking point have been? I think um, it, it remains a mystery, okay, um, regarding the um, support that Muhyiddin has. He claimed to have um, 115 or 100, I think 115 uh, statutory uh, declarations by members of parliament. But um, then again, although he said that uh, he is uh, surprised that uh, the Agong um, simply said that he hasn't gotten enough number, but um, we know um, there were there were at least two announcements, uh, firstly from GPS, saying that uh, they now leave it to the uh, king, to the Agong, to decide on the uh, appointment, and Barasa National saying that um, any 
um, individual uh, decisions among the, uh, the the member among its members of parliament uh, are now withdrawn, and therefore uh, we come back to square one. No one of the two uh, coalitions seem to have the uh, the, the numbers, uh, and um, and and uh, I think the Agong the king had. Uh, had, had been um, wise in asking for a government to be inclusive, okay, to include um, not only uh, the multi-ethnic component from, um, from, from, the, from the peninsula, but also to include um, those from uh, Sabah and Sarawak. All right. uh, this is something uh, I think that the Prikata National hasn't uh, hasn't gotten. They haven't yet. Yes, uh, Dr. Moha, thank you very much mm -hmm. uh, for that. Uh, Tunku Moha Mokta, the Assistant Professor at the International Islamic University of Malaysia.